It looks like we're gonna be getting some camos without thinking today because we're grinding out the LMGs. And if you haven't done the LMGs yet, all the base camos for this are super simple. You just need to get like 50 kills with them, something like that. You need to get like 10, 15 double kills, a certain amount of kills with full attachments on it. And then you need to get like 10 penetration kills. And that should be super simple here on shipment. I already went ahead and made these weapon builds with like the largest mag possible for each gun. I threw on like all the best hip fire attachments. I put on uh, the armor penetrating bullets, but I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't hit fire because I'm not really hitting shit. I'm definitely gonna have to tweak these builds a bit, but for the most part, I literally just have to shoot in a direction that somebody might be in and I have a probably pretty good chance of getting the kill. But uh, the build I'm working with here already not working. Let's try to make this more of a ADS build. Editing Joe here and speaking of not working, the computer that I record my face cam footage on ran out of storage a majority of the way through this video. So luckily for you guys, you want to see my ugly mug today and luckily for me, I still had some footage recorded on my other computer. I'll touch on this a bit more later in the video when I realized it happened, but for now back to whatever the hell I was talking about. Like somebody in chat is asking for penetration kills. They are. They have penetration censored in this game, but I'm right there with them. I need them too. Ever since we've come back to multiplayer, I've been such a, a gremlin, a menace, a degenerate. Going from using the, the shotguns to the LMGs on shipment is wild, but these camos got to get done somehow. And I don't think I'm doing a very good job at it. Oh, there's a hit marker. There we go. That's a wall bang. That's our first penetrative kill. We have to do a lot of penetrating today. This actually is not working nearly as well as I thought it would. I thought we'd just be shooting through every single one of these crates and getting everything done extremely fast. I'm being humbled. I wish there was a stat to like show how many bullets you've shot in a game. Because I think I'm already over like 2,000 for this one. We are getting dusted. I have 16 kills right now. Make that 17. And they're all in their 20s and 30s. No one on our team even has 20. I'm definitely not helping the team out. But I don't think anybody can really help this team at this point. My KD is going to be in shambles after this game. But maybe SBMM will help me out. I can't even fully get my weapon out before I get killed right after spawning. It takes me 15 seconds to pull it out and cock it before somebody can just walk up and one shot me. I should play hardcore and just rack up the most team kills anyone's ever seen. I built this almost entirely for hip fire and being able to penetrate. And I don't think I got more than like two penetrative kills this game. All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and throw out my guess for the amount of deaths that I have. I'm going to say we had 65. Oh, 57. Better than I thought. But I was getting smacked around. Holy shit. Oh, we got our double kill challenge done. No way. How? Yeah, we only got three penetrative kills that game. Everything else is done. We're just gonna have to be that guy and hop into hardcore. Oops, already racking up a team kill. And I don't think it's gonna help us very much for our whole spawning and dying problem. We did get a penetrative kill. What other things can I penetrate? So I know for sure I can get through these right here, like the side walls of this crate. Do I have to just shoot through like these ice blocks or something? Dude, I can't cock my gun. I can't even start shooting before I'm dead. Oh, okay, that one was ridiculous. A scatter mine spawn killed me. Are you fucking kidding me? Star scatter mines the meta in hardcore? Damn. And we joined a game in progress that ended basically immediately. I bet I still managed to rack up like 20 deaths. Oh, 18. Jeez, dude. All right, we're in the perfect spot to see if we can wall bang through this barrel. Somebody walk behind it, please. I hope you jump behind it. I think I did get a hit marker, though. But still inconclusive. Ooh. Keep spawning over there. Oh, I'm a monster in hardcore. Oh, it is wall bangable. We got to just be like one or two penetrations away. Is that it? Nope. There we go. Come on. Give me the camo. Let's go. Uh, what's our goal challenge for this? Kills without releasing the trigger? We can do that. Easily. We got plenty of bullets to make it work. I don't know how many kills without releasing the trigger it needs, though. Probably like two, right? They wouldn't do more than that. Come on. Let me get out of here with gold. Or not. Am I thinking of the right gold challenge, though? Yeah, two kills without releasing the trigger 10 times. We can do that easily. Maybe I should switch to the conversion kit for this. Add a little mobility to it. Let's see if this works any better for us. I can definitely feel the movement speed difference. I feel like I'm holding this gun up to my nose. Holy shit. Yeah, this is definitely better. I should have been using this the whole time. 
All right, this should definitely be it right here. There's no way. Dude, come on. Shame Money can't get his fat fingers off the trigger. That's the challenge! I'd be doing the same thing anyways, though, so he's not wrong. Just simply adapt. There's gold. Um, is there a conversion kit for this weapon, too? I don't think I can add a conversion kit mid-game, can I? Oh, wait, aftermarket parts. Yeah, let's throw in the, the Jack Nightshade. Oh, no, we can't have a 100-round mag. Never mind, take it off. We can try to make this thing a little faster, though. This should be fine. All right, back to our regularly scheduled programming. We're pissing these guys off. We still need to make sure that we're going for our, our penetrative kills, though. That's really what's going to hold us back. Oh, we're definitely paying for our crimes now. We're getting auto shotted and spawn killed. This is what I get for just using LMGs and shotguns the last two times I've been on here. But camos must get done. I still need basically all my penetration kills with this gun, but none of these guys are playing spots where I can get them. Oh, wait, there we go. Maybe I just need to play the spots. Dude. Stop spawn killing me, please. No way I'm getting fucking pub stomped. SPMM cannot be valuing me this high. Well, all I'm doing is holding down mouse one. I'm just hitting the shoot button. Oh, wow. They stomped us so hard. They, they stopped our score at 69. Holy fuck. 42 and 60, 52 and 75. These guys were not fucking around. Oh, no. Now I'm getting the LMG spam. I'm even getting spawn killed by my teammates. Oh, finally. That's our first wall bang in like an hour. All this not using my brain is making me lose it. Oh. Am I completely out of ammo with this gun? No way. Can't believe that didn't happen any sooner. Oops. My bad, teammate. Oh, come on, please. That's gotta be it, right? Let's go. Now we just need kills without uh, stopping shooting, whatever. Me English bad. This should be much easier. Oh, finally. I thought this was going to go by so much faster. We're an hour and 12 minutes into this recording, and I only have two of the LMGs done. Those penetrative kills really held me back. Let's hope I don't get held back by this one. Dude, I have not been able to even, like, move a step. It's spawn, die, spawn, die. Shipment's so back. I've learned so much about hardcore today. I used to only play hardcore back in like the original Modern Warfare and a bit in Cold War. But today, at least the, the meta in shipment is everybody has their RGLs trying to get their kills for it. Everybody's either using an LMG or a shotgun or that could just be my SBMM placing me with people that have my same loadout because I do have my launcher as my secondary. But well, people are using those three types of weapons and they are way better at spawn trapping on here than they are in core. The whole no health thing probably makes it easier for them. 91 deaths? Jeez. I can't help but feel that these penetrative kills would be so much easier if we could just hop on meat 24-7. That playlist don't come back for a week. Also, can I just say that it's perfect that they changed the name to that map to meat last second? It was originally called Slaughterhouse. And if you like check somebody's status like on COD while they're playing on that map, it still says Slaughterhouse. But they're like, nah, name it meat. And that's why I fuck with Sledgehammer. On top of that, meat's actually a really fucking good map. But I was just saying the whole penetrative thing for the joke. I don't I don't think there's actually there very many spots on there to get penetrative kills on. I could be wrong because if they're going to change the name to meat, they might as well have some nice penetrative spots on there. You better be able to wall bang on meat. Some nice glory hole shots. That's got to be all my penetrative kills for this gun, right? I just got a triple through that barrel. Oh, we did. We got three camos that game, actually. I didn't see a single one. Oh, sweet. We just need gold. Do I have gilded yet? Yep. I can just smell camos. I'm like a bloodhound for them. We just need one more LMG gilded and then we can start working on forge. All right, since this is our last LMG, I kind of want to test something. We have six penetration kills with this gun. I'm going to try to get a team kill and see if it counts. Let's see if they accounted for that. Let's see. I'm sorry, dude. This is for science. This is going to be so crazy if it worked. It did not. Okay, well, I had to see. And since we are so close to getting our last LMG gold, let's check on our forge camos. So we need 20 operator suppressed headshot kills. That shouldn't be too difficult. We need three kills without dying 10 times. That might be a bit of a struggle. 25 kills while ADS'd and moving. Weird. And 25 kills while using a magnification scope attachment. So what, just any optic? I guess I'll just use a 2.5 to be safe. Oh, we finally have our last LMG gold. 
took me two hours and 16 minutes to get them all done, but it was very, very mindless throughout the entire grind. It's actually kind of relaxing. The, the soothing sound and the rhythmic shooting of the LMG probably could have put me to sleep. But now we need to get these forged. Oh, and we finally got forged. Let's go. All of our headshots are done. Now let's see if we can get three kills without dying. Oh, this should definitely be the last of our three kills without dying. Show me forged. Oh, come on, game. There we go. Damn. Teasing me. This one should be a little bit easier. Just ADS kills while moving. Oh, this is so easy. I hope it's actually tracking. So I would not be surprised the camo as easy as this would not track. Or be something stupid like you need to be moving at a minimum of this velocity for it to track. Uh, I don't know what happened, but I'm getting an encoding error on my webcam. So the rest of this video, no face. Probably for the best. Probably because I was recording for almost three hours. OBS is over it. I hope it saved the actual recording though. Oh, I don't think it did. That's unfortunate. That's so much recording for no face cam to be saved. I'm so glad I record everything on two computers. Otherwise, three hours of my life would have been wasted. Oh, and there's another forged. One more to go. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I almost prefer no face cam. Feels a lot more casual. It feels easier. But I feel like after you do a face reveal and you start doing videos like with face cams, you can't really like stop it. I know it feels like it's missing something without it, but I don't know. I, I feel a lot better when I don't have it. A lot less pressure. So let me know if you guys honestly prefer to just have no face cam in here. Because I'd be down to try it out for like maybe the multiplayer series or something. Or maybe we'll only do face cam when I stream or whatever. So I'm open to change. And I really hope that these camos are counting. Because it was kind of vague. It just said use a, a magnified scope. And this is the new aftermarket one that actually adds ADS speed. It's got a built in laser to it. Oops. You can even kill your teammates faster. If this is counting towards camos, we should get it done this game. Actually, watch it not count because I'm using an aftermarket scope. That'd be fucking awful. Oh, there it is. Never mind. See? Just gotta complain and you'll get it. And I am backing the fuck out of this game. I really hope that saved my camo progress, though. I haven't backed out of a game in multiplayer after grabbing a camo. I don't know, since like maybe last year. I hope it's still a thing and I didn't just fuck it. Nope, it's still a thing. Sweet. All right, well, this is what this doo-doo ass camo looks like on the Bruin. Still not a big fan of Forged, but at least it was pretty fun getting the LMGs done. It might have taken a bit. It was probably close to three hours. I don't know, because I had to end and restart my recording. So it, it took a, a decent amount of time, but it was very, very mindless. Kind of kind of soothing, kind of relaxing. So we got a few hours to spare. Uh, maybe go and get your LMGs done. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.